Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Bangladesh video and I'll be staying in a Bangladesh village for 24 hours and this is the journey which started from the Sarpur airport. So the journey is going to be about two hours long and we'll, I'll show you some road set scenes along the way. So if this is your first time or a repeat visit, thank you for your support on this channel. I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more travel videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So we're passing Sodpur town and uh, this is, looks like the main part of the Sodpur town. So the trip ahead is going to be two hours long. And I'll show you some uh, regular daily livings from a Bangladeshi village which is in uh, Gaibanda two hours from here so along the way let's uh, enjoy the trip <laughs> So this is the village we just arrived and I'm going to be spending here 24 hours so as you can see that this is very different than what you have been uh, seeing in the past so this the, the heat is extreme it's almost 40 degrees Celsius so I kind of lost a uh, little bit of my voice so because of the you know heat and I got a little bit runny nose I think this is coming from the extreme heat so we're going to be staying here and you can see that there's other there are other houses here too so the houses I'm going to be staying is right here and you can see that there's a cow right here and the cow is being fed uh, I think this dry grass in here and he's trying to you know figure out what I'm doing but looks like he's very gentle and you can see that there are uh, you know livestock here and there and I can see a baby uh, chicken and there are lots of trees and I think there's a pond behind so I'll try to do some video of that pond later on and there are fish in the pond as well so we're going to go inside and 
and this is the lounge area and I'm going to show you the room where I'm going to be staying <coughs> and you can see that there's an oven or uh, stove made of clay outside I think tomorrow there's going to be a cooking in that not today so this is where I'm going to be staying for the night and you can see that the the fan is at full speed but still it's hot the heat is extreme and you can see that the ceiling is made of uh, I think it's uh, uh, something from the forest I forgot the name uh, but it's not you know any artificial material and this is my luggage so this is the traditional village house in Bangladesh but you know this is kind of a meat class uh, village house so there are houses which are poorer and some could be richer but this is somewhere in the middle and this would give you a very good village experience for the next few hours Hello everyone, so I have the first meal in the village and we have a few items over here. So this, this is a uh, dal which is made of lentil and then we have uh, beef and then we have mashed potato and this is some sort of fish and this is uh, the Bangladeshi version of uh, red shirt which is a vegetable and then we have another vegetable and then we have shrimp here and then this are these are limes uh, which are very smelly then have rice and then cucumber so lots of items here and I'm going to try a little bit of these so this is the first time I'm eating here mm, hello everyone so this is the front section of the house I'm staying and it looks like there's a tube well here and uh, I think this is operational because I see water here so basically you have to just press it to uh, take the water out and we can actually try Okay, so yeah, it's, it works and usually the water is very fresh and uh, cold. Uh, it's very good for hot weather and then uh, we have a pond here. And actually there's several ponds and I think these have uh, fishes so you know you can catch fish and eat them and you can see there are lots of uh, you know, chicken and actually baby chicken too. So it looks like the mother had had four kids. So there's some cows here. Uh, they don't look too healthy. And then there's another pond here, and some people I think live there. So if you look far, you can see there's a small kind of bridge. Uh, I think all these are patio rice. So if we get closer, you can see that they have, yeah, they're paddy field. So they have water in it. Uh, they need water to grow. So these are like, you know, uh, okay, yes. So this will grow into rice later on. And looks like we have someone giving uh, fish uh, food. So there's going to be some, you know, fish coming up to eat the feed. I don't see any fish coming in here, but probably <laughs> they will take their time. So lots of cows, green field, and you can hear the rooster, but it's very, uh, really uh, hot and humid. It's 40 degrees Celsius right now, so kind of I'm, I'm sweating a lot, 
although I just took a shower, but you know, taking shower in this type of extreme heat doesn't mean anything. So th look, this looks like papaya. And you can see there's some uh, papayas on the tree. And I think they're not, you know, grown, fully grown yet, but you can see that they're going to be grown at one point. So the next thing, we're going to the market and I'll take, I'll try to do a hair uh, shave, which is going to be part of the video as well. I'm trying a type of sweets. Uh, so this is called Rosho Monji. So I think what it, what this means that uh, this is a type of sweets in heavy sweetened syrup. And these, it looks like made of flour. And these are probably sugar and it could be milk and something else. So this is like a dessert after lunch. Okay. Hello everyone, this is the evening in the village and this is a kind of open bazaar which happens twice per week and in local language they call it hut and you can see that lots of stores here and uh, they're selling a variety of stuff and it's very crowded so it's uh, 6 o'clock p.m. and still uh, so this is going to continue for I think about 10 o'clock or so so lots of fresh vegetables lots of uh, Onions, chili, garlic. Uh -huh. So this place, type of place, can usually get more crowded. So it's not that bad, although it feels a lot of crowded. But this is still okay. Some of the vegetables, I can recognize them. Like eggplant. So they're very colorful and all of them look fresh. Very different experience. Lots of stores, and we can enter the fish market. So these look like dry fish. You can see there's these are wet fish. hour living in a Bangladeshi village and now I'm going to try to shave 
in a local barber shop so this is a village barber shop and uh, you know we'll do some uh, recording of the shaving and you can see that lots of people are selling lots of stuff but this is our barber shop so this is a traditional uh, village barber shop and uh, we'll go inside and uh, shave and I'll just you know add a bit of uh, shaving clip with this video so his regular rate is 50, uh, 50 taka which is about half dollar but uh, I gave him a double uh, which is about one dollar hundred taka I think he did a good job and uh, definitely he took his time and it was a very professional smooth shave and uh, I was surprised at the quality of the shaving and uh, you know the time to, he took to shave it definitely it's worth the time although it's very hot right now it's 40 degrees Celsius and I'm kind of sweating in, uh, you know uh, shower in uh, sweat but it was worth the spending time here Hello everyone, good morning. You just seen how uh, breakfast is being prepared in the village so last night after returning from the market there's not much going on uh, the dinner was uh, almost the same as uh, the lunch that's why I didn't show it but what happened I got some kind of uh, runny nose and slight fever from the excessive heat it was hover hovering around 40 degrees Celsius yesterday so still my voice is not uh, you know normal but right now the breakfast preparation is going on and then we're going to have breakfast very soon and this is how you make breakfast in a uh, clay oven or stove so everything is you know made of clay and the fire is made of uh, woods or possibly sometimes coal but uh, these days actually coal is not being used that much anymore so what you're seeing is that uh, you know uh, these are firewoods or sticks from the village uh, trees so after breakfast I'm going to go out to see some other places and which I'll add it to the video time for breakfast so we have here rice flour uh, bread and then vegetable and this is potato fries cut in small pieces and then here we have beef so this is going to be our breakfast for today so we're going to the to a, a key or wharf kind of a place today and this is the vehicle you're going to be using so this is an auto rickshaw or tuk-tuk and I'm not sure how long it's going to take but you know that's where we'll go and then looks like it's very sunny uh, it's it's not too hot like yesterday so I'm not sure what the temperature right now but yesterday it was 40 degrees Celsius and it was very extreme which made me sick and gave me like you know runny nose but today so far so good hello everyone visiting a sweets making factory in uh, 
guy Banda, and this is a machine that's where they make the sweets, but they make both uh, manually and by machine. So this is just a machine here. So there's uh, no touch of hand, and they haven't started the sweets yet. It's supposed to be at twelve o'clock, and then I have seen there are some other sweet makings going on over here. So these are all sweets. And I see they're cleaning some dishes. So this is inside the kitchen. So it looks like we have the oven here. Uh, these are all firewood oven and I can feel the heat. It's very hot, so we're going to go inside. And some people, they're cleaning the oven. It's really hot in here. So I had to stay another probably hour to see the full process of making soot, but I don't have much time. So here I have, it's very hot, uh, you know, it, it feels like I'm in burning oven. So they have to cool down here after preparing the hot sweets. So that's why they're keeping it here and they have the pan on top. So this, I think someone lives here as well. And then here I've seen some other sweets. So there's another st stove here. Uh, this thing, they're boiling the water and then the fire is ready. And I saw they prepare some samosa, which is right here. So this is just partial process. The sweets is going to start at 12 o'clock, but I think that's all we have for now. Hello everyone. So we just stopped at a local market to get some sweets. And this is the central market in uh, Gaibanda. That's where I'm staying in the village. So behind me is the sweet store from which we're going to get some sweets and try some local sweets. So this is very crowded and chaotic. And this is the store we're going to go in and get some local sweets. You can see they have a variety of sweets and different taste, different flavor, but all of them are very sweet. And this is a common delicacy in Bangladesh. So we are here with my contact and one other people. So this is just a vlog video to showing something different. So this is a, the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius in September. Uh, this is sweltering hot, uh, very uncomfortable heat. And I think I got a little bit sick because of the heat. But it will be okay. And you can see that there are lots of greeneries all around. So we just left a uh, paved road and this is uh, this road is made of uh, actually nothing. This is just uh, like in you know, a mud road. So not really a road I think. The villagers just made it and when it rains probably it's going to be very messy. So it's very peaceful and quiet in here. So 
so I'm going to walk up to the point where or up to the house where I stayed this is a very good example of how a Bangladeshi village looks like it's very different from the big city for example Dhaka or other big cities in Bangladesh and you can see that you know it's very green and very quiet and beautiful so today it looks like there's a little bit wind but yesterday there was no wind so that made the temperature felt worse than normal and I couldn't believe that it can be 40 degrees Celsius in September so you can see they're growing different types of plants and I can see a papaya tree right here there's some papayas in there And there's a small pond on the left and I can see some ducks trying to relax in the hot temperature. So let's take a look at it. So the water looks muddy. There are lots of stuff inside, but the looks like the ducks are eating something. And I can see one guy is spraying uh, fertilizer or pesticide in the field. And you can see there are goats and cows everywhere. So very laid back village life, no stress, no rushing. So we got another pond here. This water looks a little cleaner than the other one. So it looks like each house has cows and livestock, lots of chickens. So some houses are a little bit better than others. And I saw lots of street dogs here and there. So this is what cows eat. I think it's a dry form of some sort of straw. Or I don't know if this is called hay also. Hay. hay, hay. hay. So this is cows uh, feed. The cows love it. And you can see that all households have lots of these. So that's what cows feed on. And the ducks are having actually a good time. And we have... A, street dog here so I have my contact behind me and when here we have someone is sorting out some sort of grass this could be for the cows So the place where I'm living, it's coming up, so I'm just going to go up to there. Hello everyone, time for lunch and this is the last meal here and the clay stove you're looking at, the, all of the items are cooked in there. And let me show you what we have now. 
so we have a lot a lot of items here so we have rice and then this is a fish item and then this is egg uh, which is cooked and then this one looks like chicken and this is uh, okra uh, or fried okra and then we have uh, looks like fish uh, mashed fish uh, mashed fried fish instead and this is dal which is made of lentil and then we have a vegetable item so these are very colorful and all of them are very delicious and this is going to be our lunch here and this is going to be our last meal for today hello everyone so i passed 24 hours and it is the time to leave uh, the car you're looking at is going to take us to the set for airport which is going to be about uh, three hours drive uh, before coming here I have heard of uh, the hospitality and kindness of Bangladeshi people but here I got a good uh, you know experience of it uh, I appreciate and thanks everyone who let me stay in their house and took me in different places uh, some of them came in front of the camera and some of them didn't but everyone made sure that you know I was comfortable and uh, everything went smooth so as a result I was able to do the whole uh, the, lots of videos and everything and definitely this is a very unique experience and I also learned that uh, in order to be happy you don't need lots of money or lots of things because people who are here they don't have uh, you know lots of money or they don't have lots of things but they're still happy and they appreciate everything even the tiny things in life and that's how you know you can appreciate life so that was another eye-opening and a good lesson for me so I'm just going to you know uh, take camera a little bit closer and then this is going to be uh, the end of this 24 hour experience but there are a lot more videos coming up from Bangladesh and different parts of the world so definitely I'm going to see you in the next video and I'll put a link on the uh, screen so I'll see you in the next video and I'm staying in Bangladesh for another three four days and definitely I'm going to do more videos in Bangladesh from Dhaka so thank you and I appreciate uh, watching and uh, you know for thank for the support and i'll see you shortly